Good day everyone! Today you will learn about the classification of visual arts. It is said that visual arts are something that delight in our eyes. So I have here the classification of visual arts and these are the painting, drawing, carving, sculpture, mixed media arts, fine arts, mosaic, tapestry, photography, and videography. We will discuss each of these classification and we will begin from painting. Painting is an image created using pigments on a surface such as paper or canvas. The pigment may be a wet form such as paint or a dry form such as pastels. Painting is the expression of ideas and emotions with the creation of certain aesthetic qualities in a two-dimensional language. So painting is important for the visual arts, bringing in elements such as drawing, gestures, composition, narration, or abstract. So I have here the elements of painting. We have color and tone, non-traditional elements, and rhythm so let's proceed to the examples of painting we have the mona lisa by leonardo da vinci as is one of the world's most recognizable paintings to the right is the oldest known figurative painting is a depiction of a bull discovered in the lubang jirije sali cave painted forty thousand years ago or earlier we have also Mahmud Farishan and Vanyard in Spring. Second is Drawing. Drawing is the art or technique of producing images on a surface, usually paper, by means of marks, usually of ink, graphite, chalk, charcoal, or crayon. So drawing as formal artistic creation might be defined as the primary linear rendition of objects in the visible world, as well as the concepts, thoughts, attitudes, emotions, and fantasies given visual form, of symbols and even of abstract form. A drawing is at the art or soul of an artist's way to express themselves. So drawing is a formal visual art in which a person uses various drawings to mark paper or another two-dimensional medium. Instruments include graphite pencils, various kinds of paints, brushes, color pencils, crayons, various kinds of erasers, markers, and other metals is required. Digital drawing is the act of using a computer to draw. Common methods of digital drawing include a stylus or a finger on a touch screen. So let's discuss the kinds of drawing. First, live drawing. It is the result from direct or real observations. Live drawing, also known as still life drawing or figure drawing, portrays all the expressions that are viewed by the artist and captured in the picture. The human figure forms one of the most enduring themes in life drawing that is applied to portraiture, sculpture, medical illustration, cartooning, and comic book illustration and other fields. Second, emotive drawing. Similar to painting, emotive drawing emphasizes on exploring and expressing different emotions, feelings, moods, self, time, etc. These are generally depicted in the form of a personality. Third, sketching. It is a kind of drawing that puts forward the instant thoughts of an artist. Thus, it is a rough freehand and loose drawing which is not considered to be a finished piece of art. Sketching usually results out of visualizing and immediately capturing them onto paper. Next to sketching is the analytic drawing. Sketches that are created for clear understanding and representation of observations made by an artist are called analytic drawings. In simple words, analytic drawing is undertaken to divide observations into small parts for a better perspective. Next is the perspective drawing. 
Perspective drawing is used by artists to create three-dimensional images on a two-dimensional picture plane, such as paper. It represents space, distance, volume, light, surface, and scales all viewed from a particular eye level. Next to it is the geometric drawing. Geometric drawing is used particularly in construction fields that demand specific dimensions. Measured scales, true sides, sections, and various other de descriptive views are represented through geometric drawing. Next is diagrammatic drawing. When concepts and ideas are explored and investigated, these are documented on paper through diagrammatic drawing. Diagrams are created to depict adjacencies and appintents that are likely to take place in the immediate future. Thus, diagrammatic drawing served as the active design process for the instant ideas so conceived. Last is the illustration drawing. Drawings that are created to represent the layout of a particular document are illustration drawings. They include all the basic details of the project so concerned clearly stating its purpose, style, size, color, character, effect, and others. So let's proceed to carving. As one of the oldest types of art, that carving is an art form common to all cultures from the Stone Age onwards, not at least because of its widespread ability, plasticity, and low cost. Its only real drawback as a medium for sculpture it is its perishability, being water absorbent and vulnerable to insects and airborne fungi, wood can degrade quietly rapidly. As a result, bronze, marble, and other types of stones have been preferred for monumental works. Carving is the act of using tools to shape something from material by scrapping away portions of that material. The technique can be applied to any material that is solid enough to hold a form even when places or pieces have been removed from it and yet soft enough for potion to be scrapped away with available tools. Carving, as a means for making sculpture, is distinct from methods using soft and malleable materials like clay, fruit, and melted glass, which may be shaped into desired forms while soft and then hardened into that form. Carving tends to require much more work than methods using malleable materials. So the kinds of carving are the following, bone carving, tree carving, stone carving, ice carving or ice sculpture, ice ivory carving, fruit carving, vegetable carving, and wood carving. So for the examples, we have wood carved statue of Guan Yin Liao Dynasty in northern China, Shanxil Province, China, from 907 to 111 25, a beautiful example of medieval Chinese Buddhist sculpture. On the center of it is the head of Saint An Lime Wood Hermitage, Saint Petersburg, circa 1000 or 1500s, by Tillman Remenschendel. Last is Saint Wolfgang Utterpiece carved in 1471 to 81 in Lindenwood Wood by Michael Patcher, a masterpiece of Christian art in the late Gothic style. We have also the famous Mount Rushmore and La Pieta. This time, sculpture, an artistic form in which hard or plastic materials are worked into three-dimensional art objects. The design may be embodied in freestanding objects, in relief on surfaces, or in environments ranging from tableaus to contexts that end below the spectator. An enormous variety of media may be used, including clay, wax, stone, metal, fabric, glass, wood, plaster, rubber, and random found objects. 
materials may be carved, molded, molded, cast, rod, welded, sewn, assembled, or otherwise shaped and combined. So it's the branch of the visual arts that operates in three dimensions. It is one of the plastic arts. Durable sculptural processes originally use carving and modeling in stones, metal, ceramics, woods, and other materials. But in since modernism, there has been almost complete freedom of materials and processes. Did you know that the revival of classical models in the Renaissance produced famous sculptures such as Michelangelo's Dev De David? Modernist sculpture moved away from traditional processes and the emphasis on the depiction of the human body with the making of constructed sculpture and the presentation of found objects as finished artworks. So let's discuss the kinds of sculpture. First, the molded one. The media and artist uses for molded sculptures include whey or clay, wax, paper mache, and plaster. Second is the cast. It involved modeling the sculpture, then making a mold and casting it in a metal or other medium. Third is the carved. Using tools to shape something from material by scrapping away portions of that material. And last is the assembled. Pull bits and pieces from just about anywhere into texture forms that pleased the artist. So I have here some examples of sculpture. At the left side, the colorblind color pencil sculpture by Molly Gambardella. At the right side is the spear sculpture. We have also examples made by Michelangelo's Moses circa 1530-1515, San Pietro in Vincoli, Rome for the tomb of Pope Julius II. Next is the Dying Gaul or the Capitoline Gaul, a Roman and marble copy of a Hellenistic work of the late 3rd century BCE, Capitoline Museums, Rome. Next to sculpture is mixed media arts. In visual arts, mixed media is an artwork in which more than one medium or material has been employed. Mixed media arts refers to a visual art form that combines a variety of media in a single artwork. So we have here the types of mixed media arts. First, the collage. This is an art form which involves combining different materials like ribbons, newspaper, clippings, photographs, and etc. to create a new whole. While it was a sporadic practice in antiquity, it became a fundamental part of modern art in the early 20th century due to the efforts of Barack and Picasso. Second is the assemblage. This is a three-dimensional variant of the collage with elements juting in or out of a defined substrate or an entirely 3D arrangement of objects and or sculpture. We have also found object art. These are objects that are found and used by artists and incorporated into artworks because of their perceived artistic value. It was popularized by the conceptual artist Marcel Duchamp. Last is the altered books. This is a specific form where the artist will reuse a book by modifying, altering it physically for use in the work. This can involve physically cutting and pasting pages to change the contents of the books or using the materials of the book as contents for an art piece. So we have here examples of mixed media arts. One is still life with chair canning. Picasso's piece depicts what can be seen as a table with a cut lemon, a knife, a napkin, and a newspaper among other discernible objects. It is elliptical with speculation that the work itself could be depicting a porthole and has actual rope used for forming its edge. Paper and cloth are used for the object presents on the table. We have also the Angel of Anarchy. Elena Gars in 1937 sculpture is a modified bust of Joseph Boyd, which was covered by paper and fur. 
When this was lost, she made a 1940 variation which shrouded and blinded the figure with feathers, beads, and cloths, creating an entirely different perspective on the sculpture. Moving forward, one definition of fine arts is a visual arts considered to have been created primarily for aesthetic and intellectual purposes and judged for its beauty and meaningfulness, specifically painting, sculpture, drawing, watercolor, graphics, architecture, literature, music, dance, theater, or a product of these disciplines. In European academic traditions, fine art is an art developed primarily, primarily for aesthetics or beauty, distinguishing it from decorative art or applied art, which also has been served some practical functions such as pottery or most metal work. For the example of fine arts, we have a palace painting, Campas, an artwork which shows people surrounded of fine art by William Van Hatch. On the center is the Great Tower of Babel by Peter Bruegel the Elder. And at the right is the Paris Street during a rainy day by Gustave Calibot. Next to it is the mosaic. A mosaic in an, is an artistic picture or design made out of any materials assembled together. Mosaic are used as decoration architects use mosaic murals for kitchen, backsplash, shower wall, and entry floor art. Mosaic craft items are used as home decor. Cities often decorate public places such as parks with mosaic murals and sculptures. So mosaic is a picture or other design constructed from smaller pieces, as well as the subject and style of the design, it is the choice of materials, plus the skill in creating and placing pieces that contribute to the personal artistic and practical value of the mosaic. So traditional mosaic are made of small, flat, roughly square pieces of stone or glass of different colors known as tissue. Some floor mosaics are, are made of small rounded pieces of stone and called pebble mosaic. Mosaic skinning is done within enable glass and opaque stained glass. Modern mosaic art is made from any material in any size, ranging from carved stone bottle cups and found objects to fruit and pieces of toast. So we have here the basic types of mosaic. We have classical mosaic. In most cases, classical mosaic art is made on commission basis using such stones as granite and marble. A thick Italian glass is also often used and it looks wonderful when combined with the stone. In some cases, the work is not grilled, giving it an interesting appearance. Second is the pebble mosaic art. This is a type of mosaic art that is faster to create than other types, although it can take a lot of time to pick just the right pebbles to create various effects. This is also a costly type of mosaic art when done using the traditional method. Because of the amount of work that does go into it, as design become more intricate, the cost goes up. Next is the industrial mosaic art. The fastest and least expensive type of mosaic art is the industrial style. The tiles are cut with a tool called a small-scale tile cutter, and very little work is done by hand. Tile pieces are arranged into simple types of patterns with various effects that can be created. It takes a lot of minutes to create a mosaic with this method than the best, and if you aren't particular about having the absolute best, it looks just as good for a lot less money. We have also hand cut mosaic art. This type of mosaic art is usually done with ceramic and glass tiles. These tiles are cut thinly in shape by hand with glass cutters and tile nippers. You can get some beautiful and complex designs in a variety of colors and there are also a variety of material options available. Custom ceramic inserts these inserts will give you texture and create effects that can't be done with other types of mosaic art, such as lettering and other fine detail work. You can also use this method in combination with other types of mosaic art for something truly unique in your home. 
So if you're asking what materials used in mosaic, we have old china plates, ceramic pieces and figurines, teeth bone, teacups, household tiles used and stripped from walls or floors, marbles, seashells, scrap glass, pebbles and beach stones, beads, broken mirror, bottle cups, jewelry, coins, and small metal tools. So for the example of mosaic, we have Stag Hunt Mosaic from the house of the abduction of Helen and Pallia, an ancient Macedonia late 14th century BC. Second example is a Hellenistic Greek mosaic depicting the god Dionysus as a winged diamond riding on a tiger from the house of Dionysus and Delos in the South Asian region of Greece late 2nd century BC. The third example is the Roman mosaic of Eudices from Carthage, 2nd century AD, now in the Bardo Museum, Tunisia. And the last is the detail of a polychristian mosaic from the Basilica of Santa Pudenziana in Rome, circa 1410 AD, depicting Saint Pudentiana. So we're going to discuss tapestry. It is a form of textile art traditionally woven by hand on the loom. It is a plain webbed face with having webbed threads of with different colors work over portions of the warp to form the design. It is a form of textile art traditionally woven by hand on the loom. For the contemporary tapestry, while tapestries have been created for many centuries and in every continent in the world, what distinguishes the contemporary field from its pre-World War II history is the predominance of the artist as weaver in the contemporary medium. So tapestry is an ancient form of textile art, has been practiced all over the world for thousands of years. Ancient Egyptians and the Incas used woven tapestry as shrouds in which to bury their dead. The Greeks and Romans used them as wall covering for civic buildings and temples, like the Parthenon. The Chinese rarely used them as wall hangings, preferring instead to use them mainly to decorate garments and for wrapping gifts. So for the examples of tapestry, one of the tapestries in the series The Hunt of the Unicorn, the unicorn is found circa 1495 to 1505 at the Clusters Metropolitan Museums of Art, New York City. And aside from that is the anonymous fire scene with Kapalus and Proclis Collection King Baudouin Foundation. We have also Flemish 16th century, the return from the hunt circa 1525 to 1550 at the National Gallery of Art. And last, the Tapestry of Christ in Glory, 1962, Convention Covenant Cathedral, 75.5 feet or 23 meter high, designed by Graham Sutherland and woven by Pinton Ferris, Philippine, France. And we're down to photography. It is the process of making pictures by means of the action of light. The light patterns reflected or emitted from objects are recorded onto a sensitive medium of storage chip through a time exposure. The process is done through mechanical shutters or electronically time exposures of photons in chemical processing or digitizing devices known as camera. Traditionally, the product of photography has been called a photograph. A term photo is an abbreviation. Many people also call them pictures. In digital photography, the term image has begun to replace photograph. So photography is incredibly complex. It has many facets and types. There are technical aspects to photography as well as creative ones. The manner in which photography is used is even different. Often, from one person to the next, there is an unlimited variety in the quality of photos. In that regard, trying to explain the difference between an ordinary snapshots of an artwork is a very difficult job. You can tell by looking two photographs which one is conveying how to get from being an amateur to pro is not an easy task. So I have here some examples of photography. And last, the last of the classification of arts is videography. 
it refers to the process of capturing moving image on electronic media and even streaming media. The term includes methods of video production and post-production. The advent of digital video recording in the 20th century blurred the distinction between the videography and cinematography, as in both methods, the intermittent mechanism became the same. So it created a global environment where videography covered many more fields than just shooting video with a camera, including digital animation, gaming, web streaming, video blogging, still slideshows, remote sensing, spatial imaging, medical imaging, security camera imaging, and in general production of most be to map and vector-based assets. So we have here the types of videography. First is the animated explainer. This kind of videography includes animation explaining a specific subject. You may see this educational videos or even an explanation videos. Second, advertising. This kind of videography are mainly seen at ads where companies advertise their products creatively to lure potential clients. We have also drone. With the increase of the popularity of drones, many of the best teams of video production in Brisbane are now making use of drones to get a bird's ADI view and the pan to location smoothly without using heavy equipment. We have also corporate types. It is a style of corporate videos may rely on each company. Corporate videos normally include shots of the company, the company buildings, the staff, the environment, and others which are usually accompanied with background music as well as narration. We have also documentary. This is a type of video where a subject is documented and is typically good for research or studies. Documentary videos are the documents on a subject. It is meant to document a subject too. And event. One of the most famous types of videos and are taken during special events such as party, a wedding reception, a birthday party, and others. The real estate videos show real estate as well as its features and beauty to lure potential clients into buying them. However, the project demo or product demo video show the client how a specific product works by demonstrating and documenting it on the video for the client to learn. We have also testimonials. It is better than a written testimonial because a video or people are more likely to believe what they see than read. We have also walked through. Players make a walkthrough video in order to aid other gamers who are expecting or experiencing challenge when playing a game. It shows the way to get though a stage or even share a codes or cheats when available. The music videos are normally videotaped performances of a song done by recording artists. These normally have a team, dancing performances as well as visualizations. And last, the travel video. Feature the places to travel, what to do, and what not to do in a certain place, and usually include the rates. Thank you, and mabuhay. I hope I imparted a new learnings in studying the classification of visual arts.